Hi learners, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today let us see the part 2 of the same topic. So now let us see the innings 3.2. The first question from that they say, find the square root of 49 and 81 by the method of repeated subtraction. So what we have to do, how to do the repeated subtraction, let us see. I just written this both the numbers on this one and so what will you do first you will subtract by one this 49 you will subtract by one that is going to be 48 so again this whatever you get 48 so how the numbers are going to be the uh, one three five seven nine the odd numbers so 49 minus 1, that is going to be 48. So now 1 is gone, then 3, then 5. So now this 48 minus 3, that is 45. So 45 minus 5, that is 40. So again 40 minus 7, that is 33. So again you will start from 33. 33 minus 9, that is 24. 24 minus 11. 13. So you will start with this 13. 13 minus 13 is 0. So wherever you get 0, you are going to stop at this point. So what we can say, these are the different steps. So how many steps did you get here? At the seventh step, you got 0. So what are you going to do? You are going to write, we want the square root of this one, 49. So we can write here, root of 49 is 7. So here, see here again, once I am repeating, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. So these are all the odd numbers. So you can also check now, you know, this is a smaller number. So you know, root of 49 is 7. But here they have said we have to do this not directly, but with the help of the method of repeated subtraction. So this is the method of repeated subtraction. Now let us see for 81. So 81 minus 1 is 80. 80 minus 3 is 77. This 77 minus 5 is 72. 72 minus 7 is 65, 65 minus 9 is 56, 56 minus 11 is 45, 45 minus 13 is 32, 32 minus 15 is 17, and 17 minus 17 is 0. So we are getting, this is, can you see total are 9 steps, so we are getting in the 9th step we get 0, so root of 81 is 9. So also, you know root of 81 when you do it directly, you know 9 lines are 81. So now look at here. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, and 17. Now here they said find the square root of the following by the method of prime factorization. So this is prime factorization. So you know prime factorization always we start with the lower number 2. If it is not divisible by 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So this is not divisible by 2 because this is where the unit place is 9. So let us see for 3. So so 3 answers. So you can, if you don't know directly to do this way, you can also do like this 729 divided by 3. So 3 2s are 6, 3 4s are 12, and 3 3s are 9. If they are big numbers, you can go this way, you can divide. So you know that this is 243. Again, for this one, if you don't know, 243 divided by 3, you do it separately, you get 81. That also can be done. So now what you can see here, this whatever you got, that are the factors. So there are six times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you will give, make, you will pair it. Make a group of 2. So now because it is square, you will make a group of 2. If it is cube, you will make group of 3. So now what you can do, you can just write it once. This also only once, this also once, and then you will put a square over here for 729. But we want a square root of 729. So this root will go up. So that is going to be just 3, 3, 3. You have to multiply. So that is going to be 27. 3 is a 9, 9 is a 27. Again, for this, the same. You can just have a look at it. Again, if you don't know directly, you can just divide it separately. I'll just show you with these arrows. 
so here now see here this is five so this is not possible with two so you go with three and five ones are five so whatever you get these are the factors so you will write it over here and now you are going to pair it so that you are just going to write it only once and square it so now put a root sign root of 1440 that is so when you multiply this you get 120 again for this one so just to react i can have a look at it now so these are the factors which is written over here so we are going to pair it so you will just write it only once and then you put a square root uh, square sign sorry and then here you are going to put a square root and this you are going to write it only once because this square and this goes off so the answer is 42 again here so these are the factors what you have written here just you can make a groups of two so just have a check here here again the same So this goes with 3. So these are the factors which is written over here. So make group of 2 and then you get the answer multiply 48. Same here. So now look at here. This goes with 2, but now this is 361. So 361 is not possible with 2, not possible with 3, 4, 5, and so on. So now what you can do here, how to check if they are big numbers. So now you can start with 10. 10 square is 100. And 20 square is 400. So you know because 2 to the 4. So this is 361. 361 means the last digit is 1. So this will be either it will be with 11 or it should be with 19. So if you are doing 11 times 11, that is 121. And if you are doing 19 times 19, that is going to be 361. Hope you got this, how to do this one. So we are going to take 19 times 19 and this will be 19 on the 19. So again, you are going to just take it only once and then you will put a square root sign. You are going to multiply that will be 76. Again, here now see here. This is for now 2 to 0 9. So I will show you how to do this one. If you are going with 20, that is going to be 400. 30 is going to be 900. 40 square is going to be 1600. 50 square is going to be 2500 because you know 5 is a 25 and because it is a square you are going to put two zeros so now what happens here this is 2209 so it lies in between 40 and 50 so now what are you going to do you are going to see the last number is 9 so it will be in between 40 and 50 so either it is going to be 43 because 3 is a 9 or it is going to be 47 so you just multiply 43 into 43 but that is not possible so if you multiply 47 into 45 later on you can see so here 47 into 47 is 2209 so hope this is clear to you so these are the factors this is written over here so you will just write a square of it and then when you put a square root sign that is going to be 47 again here So now this will go with 3. So these are the factors which I written over here. They are, you can also say paired or group. You are going to take the square of it. So now remove the square, so square root of 5184 that is. So we will be. When you multiply this, it is going to be 72. 
again now see here this is a big number so now this is not possible with 2 3 so what we can do here we can take 100 square is going to be 10,000 because you are going to put four zeros 110 square is going to be 11 is 121 and you are going to put two zeros so then 120 square is going to be you know 12 square is 144 and you'll put two zeros then 130 square is going to be 13 13 the 13 square is 169 and you will put two zeros 14 square uh, 140 square that is going to be 14 14 is a 196 and you will put your two zeros 150 square that will be 15 square that is going to be 225 and you will put two zeros so now this number lies in between 140 and 150 because that is 22,000 201 so now you are going to see the last digit so this is going to be either 141 or 149 so you just multiply and see 141 into 141 and 149 into 149 so i already done that and so the answer is 149 into 149 is the answer that you will get 22201 so 149 into 149 hope that is clear so these are the factors that is 149 so square root of this will be 149 so now you will this is possible with 3 here again 3 and 3 and so on so these are the factors which are written over here so it's easy you can just have a look at it now here they said find the smallest square number exactly divisible by 6 18 and 30 so what we have to do first we have to take the lcm of the 6 18 and 30 so after taking the lcm uh, you know if we take this all three numbers two we will again uh, we will always start with two if not with three two threes are two nines are and two fifteens are again this is not possible with two because all are divisible by three three ones are three threes are and three fives are again this one only one number is possible. Three ones are and five will write as it is. This one and five. So now what we can do? Five ones are and this one and one will write as it is. So these are the factors. So what we can write here? LCM here is two into three into three into five. So when you multiply this one, we get ninety. So now we can write here ninety is equal to. We got ninety is the LCM. Ninety is equal to these all the factors what we get. So now when we are pairing it, so what we can see when it number 3 is paired and these both are single, they are unpaired. So we can write it 2 and 5 are unpaired. So to make it to perfect square, multiply by here you need 1 extra 2, here you need 1 extra 5. So you have to multiply by 2 into 5, that is 10. So this 90 into 10, that is going to be 900. So we can write the smallest square number exactly divisible by 618 and that is 900. So this sentence you have to write it. Now they said here is 1458 a perfect square? If not, find the smallest number of 1458, which is the perfect square. Also find the square root of the new number. So first now let us find the factors of this one, 1458. So these are the with the help of the factorization method. So you can have it look at it how it is done. So now 1458 that is the all the factors are written over here so now what you can see when we pair it these all are paired now this is alone so we can say 2 is unpaired to make it to perfect square it should be multiplied by 2 so here you need extra 2 so what will you do here 1458 multiplied by 2 so that is going to be 2916 so now they said find the square root of the new number so when you take the square root of the, this two, one, uh, 2916, so what are you going to do? We already got the factors over here. That is 2 into, see these are already grouped, right? So here you need 2. So this 2 will be written just once. This 3, this 3 and this 3. 3, 3 and 3. 
So because here we already multiplied by 2, right? So this is 2 and this all 3. So 6 and this is going to be 54. They, they asked what is the square root of the new number. So this is the new number. The square root of that is 54. So by this one we have completed today's work. You like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.